Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another BJ and Co. Minecraft tutorial video. We're continuing on in our Sky Factory 3 world. And we're almost there, guys. It's a beautiful sunrise, but we're going to talk about some power. You might, you might see a little bit of what we got going on there. In particular today, guys, we're looking at the Age of Insanity, and we're going to produce a billion RF per dick. So let's get on into it before we jump too far. Huge bow to all of our Patreons, Krulek and Dugoth. Yo, man, we love you guys. It's fantastic having you around. Uh, the support means so much to us. And, uh, yeah, just got to say thank you. And to everybody else that's here, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, without you guys here, it means that we don't have uh, a channel with videos that people like to watch. And that makes it slow going for us but everybody here it just it just makes our hearts feel so good so let us know you're here hit that like button sub to the channel if you haven't so you get notified when all of our new stuff goes live and uh check out all the links down below discord is our main hangout so come jump on over say hi to the crew but let's get into this so we, we we're talking nether star generators because one billion are for tick we um we need quite a few nether star generators now the nether star gen or we need lots of power production and the best we can get is the nether star generators there are uh it's nether star mach 3 is your best bet uh it is this guy right here which is eight of the mach 2 with dragon's breath the mach 2 are eight of the mach 1 with a vibrant crystal and the mach 1 are just a nether store with their Wither Skeleton Skull, Soul Sand Furnace, and Redstone. So this one itself is fairly easy for you guys to make. Um, check out our earlier videos on Wither Farming there. We've got a nice nice little Wither Farm set up just over there that can just grind out the skulls or the stars for us. And uh, we had to automate the production of the previous two things, the Wither Skulls and the Soul Sand, in order to get that one going. The... Mach 2, the Vibrant Crystal is not too crazy. It's just some Vibrant Alloy around Emeralds, and Vibrant Alloys is um, can just be made with Ender Pearls and Energetic Alloy. Um, you can also do it in um, a few other few other ways. Like, you don't have to do it in... You don't have to do it in that. You can use an Alloy Smelter. An Energetic Alloy is another easy one that's Redstone, Gold, and Glowstone. So stuff that you know how to get. And then Dragon's Breath all you gotta do is farm your ender dimension or your ender dragon dimension over and over and over and over and over um and just take a whole bunch of bottles with you because in the end in order to generate the one billion rf per tick that we're looking for uh, from these machines that generate about one point or no 2.5 2.54 um i think that's the number we're looking for billion or million 254 million no sorry 2.54 million we're going to need 391 of these to be generating the 1 billion per tick so i made it i i mean i got got to look nice so it's got to be a nice round 400 so i've got uh, a row of 50 here so it's 100 200 300 400 nether stars lined up side by side and uh, these are fantastic little things. I mean, if I can jump over, can I, do I get some over here? Right. So I've got this, this little guy down here, right here, and we throw some nether stars into it. And yeah, 2.5 million RF per tick. It's a fantastic little thing. And in order to transport power in a nice way, I'm using some flux plugs in the middle. And so I've got one plug, flux plug per four. I just thought it was a nice round setup here. I could go one per six, but it's not too bad. And all of these, the tough thing here, you want to make sure that you ignore limit to true. Otherwise, it's only going to set the default value, which is the 256,000. And that's all it will transfer at a time. And we want to get all 2.5 million at a time. So I've got all those rows, all the flux plugs in the middle, and then I've got this set up so that it's just going to be feeding nether stars into it. And I've got uh, a whole row of, ooh, not caps lock, wrong, wrong button. I've got this completely full of nether stars. Uh, I'm actually backing it out so we can show you exactly what, what we're looking for. So all of these are set and ready to go, loaded up. Uh, they are on all the time, but they've got nowhere to send their power to so that nothing is going to happen. Um, the if you don't know how to make flux plugs guys just just in case you haven't um the flux plugs are in here they need flux blocks and cores 
and all of these like these just need more cores and flux and the flux cores need flux ivander and obsidian and flux is just smelted redstone so nothing too crazy and you're going to need so you're going to need a whole bunch i've got 100 flux plugs and these are the ones that send the energy away but then we're also going to um we're also going to take a look at the flux points because this is what we're going to need to pull the energy from the system so our flux point here is again the same thing but around redstone so you just need a bunch of flux so we've got some of those lined up and ready to go uh these are all plugged in loaded should be fine now in the midst of all of this ran into some issues where after 2 billion rf per tick these systems don't like to do things very well so i'm actually going to while i'm here i'm gonna delete some of the stuff that i've been working on we'll let it we'll let it do its thing really quickly um but yeah so we're, we're gonna start here and all we're gonna do is we're gonna take a flux point this is the one that receives energy we can see that this guy is completely empty right now we are going to walk around to this side so we can hopefully see a beautiful stream of energy coming out but it's it's not going to last very long because this thing is hating me today so first thing we want to do into here we want to change this to true so it's going to grab as much as it can and now we're just going to select to our another gen network and look up and there's nothing as i just won't fall off the world man it's uh now it really doesn't like me at all <sighs> so frustrating now so I don't know why I've, I've done a bunch of searching on the internet and it seems like there are some issues between the flux plugs and draconic evolution in here so it's not working too good one workaround that I found here is to my other one we're currently sitting about 20,000 RF per tick um, each of these lines of conduit can do about 25,000 RF or sorry about 20,000 RF per tick so if I connect this it should go up to about 60 but what i'm using is a vibrant capacitor bank to take in the power and then send it through the conduits so just to show that this is actually working yeah oh yeah it's getting lots of rf and then this is putting it out to 60 i really don't want to because that's 60 this is 20,000 rf per tick the number of freaking cables i'm going to need is going to be redonkulous in order to do that uh i can also show you guys We've got, uh, I've got some of the flux storage to show that the flux network is connected. False, or we're going to do that to true, nether gen, and it's full, right? So, I mean, we are, we should be, oh, look, look, it's, it's filling it at 256 per tick. No, eh, it's full. So we are on paper making that much power it's just we cannot transmit that much power right now i mean it's transmitting into the flux network but i can't transfer it out into my draconic stuff which is so frustrating i've been spending probably a good couple hours trying to make this happen but it uh it couldn't do anything um yeah so much fun but that's that guys that's that's what you need to know just a whole bunch of nether star generators and the hardest piece about all this i mean we can see if we take a nice look we can see that they are starting to use up some of the nether star jet nether stars in here but if we did have this fully connected somewhere where it was pulling it's going to eat through nether stars like you wouldn't believe because basically it's going to it blows these up on well let's let's jump over here right Let's, let's look at this Mach 3 right here. It's got 16. It's completely full. Uh, let's do this smaller one, right? So this one takes about two minutes, but this is a one second. So in every second, you're going to go through 400 nether stars. So hopefully you can produce that much. If you guys have any comments on the power movement and flux plugs and how I might be able to get this into the Draconic without thousands of the stupid uh, cables, let me know. I would love to hear. But... Uh, we're gonna go quick and easy one today we've done it we, we we've got everything we need to produce it we just can't store it so stupid so stupid so stupid which means guys we're getting down to the end all we have to do is deal with some chaos dragons so killing the tra chaos dragon resurrecting dragons and jumping between two dragons that's the last we have to do so cool so cool so cool so cool so uh that will hit up next time 
that's where we're going to leave it for today. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. We appreciate you all being here. If you did enjoy this, find this helpful, let us know. Hit that like button. If you want to see more of the content, subscribe to the channel for updates when all of our new content goes live. If you want uh, to really show us some love, consider being a Patreon like these guys. The link to Patreon is down below. And... Uh, if not, just check out all the other links, guys. We appreciate everybody in our community. Jump on over to the Discord. Check out our Twitter. All that fun stuff. Links are all in the doobly-doo down below. If I steal something in a savvy's book. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Bye.